In this video, I'm going to show you how to use CSS border radius to define the radius on your borders. And the cool thing is with CSS3 is you can now define a border radius for each individual corner, which is pretty awesome stuff, and we're getting started right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. And if it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials. With that out of the way, let's head over to the screen capture so we can learn how to do CSS border radius. I'll see you there. On my screen, I have some basic CSS right here that is applied to a very basic div where the, the only content is the text, this is my important message. On the right hand side, you see how it displays and I've made the border a little thicker so you can see it. And right now you can see very sharp corners because we have no border radius applied. So all we have to do to add a border radius is we type in border radius colon and then we define the radius we want. If we put in just 10 pixels, it applies it to everywhere. So if we save that and refresh, it applies 10 pixel radius to all corners, like that. If you wanna do something fancy and you want a different border radius for every corner, you can do that as well. The first entry for the border radius always defines the top left corner, and that's this one up here. So that one is set to 10 pixels. We can set the right hand corner top right over here to zero pixels. We can set the bottom right hand corner over here to uh, let's see, 25 pixels. And then we can set the bottom left corner to um, something that's gonna be very obvious, three pixels. We save that, we refresh the page, and we can see all the different border radiuses or lack of up in the top right on the element now. So you can do some really cool, funky designs with that. And even this, even though it's totally random, it looks interesting. It looks more interesting than just having rounded corners everywhere. So you can define either every corner having the same radius by just having one pixels, one, one pixel number. You can say that every corner has a different radius, or you could have a different radius for uh, if we have just 10 pixels here, this would be the top left and bottom right. And then this one defines the top right and bottom left. Uh, the way I remember which direction it goes, it's always clockwise. So it starts here. Let's pretend this is noon. Then it goes around the clock this way. I know it's not exactly noon, but it, it just goes clockwise. Just remember clockwise. So if we save this and see what it looks like, we see that the top left and bottom right are, um, are 10 pixels, and then the top right and bottom left are 25 pixels. And that's all there is to using CSS border radius. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials. And if you haven't done so yet as well, now is a great time to look over here at these other videos and the card up at the top for more awesome coding resources. Click on one of those to learn more stuff. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.